All right, this is the back of the JVC BRS811U uh, video cassette recorder. And on top of it here, I have a time-based corrector sitting up here. Just want to go through the basics of what you have to do to connect a time-based corrector to the VCR. Um, I've got everything labeled on each unit here, so whenever you have to disconnect it and reconnect it, then it's uh, it's easy to find where everything goes back again because there's so many connections back here, and uh, I don't use all these connections. And on each of my cables, I have the cables labeled as well, so that way it uh, makes it a little easier. Um, the biggest cable that you have is uh, down here on the output of the um, of the VCR. Um, there's these uh, two connections right here, and I put a letter Y next to this one just to remind people to go ahead and connect to this one. And then uh, you just connect to the Y input of the um, time-based corrector up here. And uh, to do that, you have to have uh, one of these kind of cables. And um, also keep in mind that these cables, they have a little notch at the top of the connector. So make sure that the notch is in the up position when you go to plug it in. Of course, there's a male and a female connector here. And on the back of the VCR, the male goes to the back of the VCR. So we just take it and just give it a push right in there. And it's got this little lock that locks it in there. And take the other end and go up here to the time base corrector to where it's um, where I, I've got it labeled as the Y up here. And on on this one, it's the only such place that to connect anything like that because it's the only thing the cable will go to. And go ahead and plug that in here. There's also two two more cables you got to put on here. Um, down here on the VCR, you have uh, one called Sync In and Dock RF Out. Um, and then um, up here on the time base correctors, there's the sink and the dock, and they're labeled with an S and a D. And uh, my cables are labeled with S's and D's as well. So um, uh, this is the D cable, and it's just you know your regular uh, B and C type connector there. And uh, and I've got it labeled with a D on there. I don't know if you can actually see it or not, but. Uh, so for the dock RF out, I'll go here, and the other end, go up here, and there's that. And then there'll be another one just like it. And of course, you know, just another regular old BNC, and then I've got that labeled with an S on here, which I don't know if you can see that. And so go to the sink in on the bottom of the VCR here, and go to the sink on the output of the time base corrector and then of course uh, other than hooking up your power and your other you know, video cables and whatnot depending on how you're going to set it up um, take your output from here um, which you yeah, got to use a cable like this it's got the, the cable like the other ones were with the little notch in the top and the other end is just a regular old super VHS kind of cable so once you plug this into your output up here of this then from there there's your time-based corrected signal coming out to the super VHS cable to plug into a monitor or a DVD recorder or a mixing board or what have you